Hi, everybody, and welcome back. It's Jill with Go English Coach. Um, we've got class seven in our advanced grammar series um, today. We're going to be doing these three things. We've got um, a little worksheet that we're going to work on here at the computer. Um, actually, most of the things we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing here. Um, if you have missed classes one through six, please find those in the calendar on our website or in the app. So you are able to, if you are a premium member, you are able to go back and um, watch any of the classes that you have missed. So that's one of the best, in my opinion, the best benefits of this premium membership. It's actually the most important part. Um, you are also welcome to join us on the live classes. So those times are in your calendar and it should convert to your time zone. So for me, um, I'm teaching this a little bit later today, but um, these classes, Advanced Grammar 1, um, is on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 11 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. So you'll need to convert that to, you know, if you're living in another part of the world, which most of my followers and users and students do live in other parts of the world, um, so just make sure that you're converting that if it isn't converted. I believe it already converts it for you, but um, let's see. What else did I want to address before we get started today? So we will have this class and one more, and then we will begin, let's see, June classes um, start, I, I'll, those, those um, you'll have to check in the calendar because I just sent those dates over to um, my guy who does all of my web stuff. So he will be adding those dates in. So then you can add that to your calendar and you can set a reminder on your phone to, um, remind you when classes are beginning. Um, let's see, make sure if you haven't done so already to download the app and, um, that's probably the easiest way for everybody to get in touch, stay in touch, stay connected, and to know what's going on with all of the live classes and other events that we have going on. Um, so with that said, let's get started. All right, guys, let's get started and go over here to the computer. I've got page eight, which is just a review. So what you guys, if you remember, we've been studying... Um, past tense and past progressive and kind of using those together. So talking and using, um, so practicing and using when and while to combine past and past progressive. Also looking at the differences of usage between those. And um, so today I would like to wrap that up. And then next class, we're gonna begin with the perfect tenses. So I have been, sick for two weeks. Um, I have read that book. Okay. So we'll look at um, the perfect tenses and then even comparing those to these two tenses, uh, simple past and past progressive. Okay. So let me get everything swapped over here. So this is a simple past and pra past progressive activity. It says use the cues to write sentences about Zhao's first date with Dana. Use when and while and the simple past or past progressive form of each verb. Okay, so they're going to give you these kind of um, phrases and then we're going to combine them to make one complete sentence. Okay, all right, well, let's get started. So we, do, we have two phrases here, drops his wallet and Dana waits for Dana in the restaurant. He dropped his wallet. So they put it in the past tense while he was waiting for Dana in the restaurant. So we've got past tense. Let's do simple past and then past progressive. Okay. All right. Let's look at the next one. Drinks a glass of water, breaks the glass. Okay. So let's see. Let's choose a subject. Um, I'm going to use me. Okay. So I, how about was drinking a glass of water when I broke the glass. Okay. 
So I've got when combining those. Okay, we could do something different. You could say I, you could switch the position of those and you can say I broke the glass while I was drinking a glass of water, okay? So either one of those are grammatically correct and it doesn't, the meaning is the same, okay? Um, okay, so um, we use when with the simple past and we use while with past progressive. So you can see that this part of the sentence here is simple past and we used when, okay? If we were to switch this sentence, so if I rewrite the sentence and I say, I broke the glass while drinking, you could say a glass of water, okay? So because this part is before for a present progressive and because present progressive is um, a tense where we talk about something from starting and then continuing, while is more um, grammatically correct because while is a word that also references something happening for a period of time. So these kind of match each other, okay? Whereas this is a one-time thing. That happened when one thing happened, which works with simple present. So they, they match, okay? Um, so keep that in mind when we are going forward with these, okay? Um, uh, let's see. So number three, the, we have two parts here. We've got stands up to greet Dana falls on the wet floor, okay? Um, she, how about this? She was standing up to greet, what does greet mean? It means to say hello, Dana. when she fell on the floor. Sorry if my handwriting is bad, I'm getting tired. <laughs> okay, so again, we're using this when, we're using before the simple past part of the sentence, okay? All right. So these are kind of tricky only because you can do it two different ways, right? So we could also say, um, she fell on the wet floor while, let's see, standing up to greet Dana. Okay, can you read that? She fell on the wet floor while standing up to greet Dana. I know my handwriting is getting bad down here. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys can read cursive too. <laughs> if not, please let me know if you cannot read my handwriting. Okay, forgets Dana's name, wants to introduce her to a friend. So let's see, how could we make a good sentence here? Do you guys have some ideas? I've got a couple of ideas. Um, I'm not probably going to use um, the past progressive and the reason is is that we don't use progressive with want um let's just start let's let's choose a subject so let's say he okay simple he wanted to introduce her to a friend, but forgot Dana's name, okay? Yeah, and you could switch that too. You could say he wanted to enter, no, he, he forgot Dana's name. 
I think this one is the best. He wanted to introduce her to a friend, but forgot Dana's name. I, even moving it, switching it, positions, I don't think it sounds right. So because it's both simple past, you kind of have to pay attention a little bit more to the order of it, right? Because it's not two events that happen together. It's like one thing, then another thing versus, you know, these other ones where this happened while, right? So this one thing happened while this was so um, standing up, hap you know, was happening from here to here and fell happened one time in the middle, right? This is not that same situation. It's, you know, if this is in the past, you've got one thing and then one thing. So it's a different scenario. That's why we're not using the past progressive, okay? Okay, let's look at the next one. Hopefully you can read it. It says, eats a plate of spaghetti, gets some sauce on Dana's dress. Okay, so those are two things that can happen. One of them is happening at one time and then something happened in the middle, right? So um, let's see, we could say while eating a plate of spaghetti, He got some on some sauce, sauce on Dana's dress. Okay, good. Okay. Um, number six, ha uh, has no money slash gets the check at the end of dinner. So, um, those to me are, so this again, in number five, you've got something here where it's like something starts and something ends. So eating spaghetti, okay? And then something happens, um, got sauce on dress, okay? Okay, but here we're talking about something, if this is the present and this is the past, we've got has no money, gets check at the end of dinner. Okay. So it's two past tense things. So, um, let's say, um, Mary, let's see, didn't have any money. So her friend got, so past tense, the check at the end of dinner. Make sense? So Mary didn't have any money. So we don't say she had, didn't have no money because that's not good English. So we use have any money in the negative sense. So Mary didn't have any money. If you wanted to say it in a positive way, Mary had no money. So you could say that. So let's make that an option down here. Mary had no money. So blah, 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 blah. The same, you could have the same second part of that sentence. Okay. So you can say Mary had no money is the same, is the same meaning as Mary didn't have. Okay. She didn't have money or she had no money. Okay, um, number seven, thinks only about Dana, drives home. Okay, so this sounds to me, drives home, starts, that's the progressive side, right? Because, well, he's, I think he's doing two things the whole time. So it's two pre, uh, past progressive things, right? Because he's driving, right? And he's thinking. The whole time so they're both it's two past progressive sense so let's see um oh so yeah so i'm kind of missing the whole point here so let's say dana let's put dana here dana didn't have any money so he so it's dana and a guy right so her friend no it's still her friend got the check or you could say so he got the check. Okay. Cause we do know that it's a guy drops his wallet while he was waiting for Dana at the restaurant. Okay. 
Okay, let's get going here. So things only about Dana drives home. He So you could say a couple different things. He was thinking about Dana while driving home. Um, we could also say he thought about Dana. Oh, there's an only in there. He thought only about Dana while he was driving home. Okay. That's another way to say that. Okay, so th that's what's kind of tricky about language in general is that there's always so many different ways that you can say it. So there's not, so then when teaching things like this where there are options, there's more than one way to say something or express something, it can be a little tricky and kind of confusing, um, but that's why we just have to practice and learn what sounds correct, okay? Um, so don't let it get you frustrated or you know confused, but... Um, so yeah, and just practicing this on your own will help too and kind of reviewing those rules. So I can show you guys those rules again here. Uh, okay, receives a phone call from Dana slash recovers from his car accident. So, oh boy. So he was thinking about Dana and then he got in an accident. Um, let's say while recovering from his car accident that's unfortunate he received a phone call from dana okay so this part for sure is simple past um and then obviously recover suggests, you know, something that starts and happens for a while. So this part would be past progressive. Okay. All right, you guys, there's that. Hopefully that was helpful to you. So here is a document that we started in the um, intermediate class. Okay. So what we did, and if you would like to watch that class, it is from the, it'll be It'll be in the replay um, tomorrow, um, so you can watch that. I just have to, I send my videos to get edited so you guys don't have to see when I make mistakes and stuff like that. Um, but anyways, I presented um, this area here where we had just a simple present tense affirmative sentence. Then from there, we took this sentence and we converted it into the negative present tense. So I am five feet tall, changed to I am not five feet tall. Uh, and then we took the same sentence and we converted it to the past tense. Okay. And what I would like for you to do now is to do um, negative past tense. And then from there, we're going to switch it into past progressive. Okay. And because you guys are advanced students, this should be fairly easy for you. Um, okay, but so let's just give a couple examples here. So I was five feet tall, I wasn't five feet tall. Okay, that's simple, yeah. Okay, she had two dogs, she didn't have two dogs. Every day he did yard work, every day he did not do yard work. Okay, I knew that man from work, I didn't know that man from work. So many people when they have a past tense like this and then you have to make it into the negative, um, they would say, I didn't knew. So remember that when you take the verb, you have to change it from past tense back. So you, you use the didn't to indicate the negative, And therefore, you do not need to have the verb in the, in the past tense anymore. So didn't tells you past tense. 
So then you use the no, the kind of um, the base main, the base form of the verb. Okay, so I knew that man from work. I didn't know that man from work. Okay, so there we go. I like to just make sure everybody can understand what I'm doing. We thought it was ready. So we have two verbs here. Um, watch what we do. We thought it was ready. We didn't think it was ready. So you don't need to do anything with this second verb, just this first one. All right. Oops. Oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> okay. He went to church on Sundays. He didn't, he didn't go to church on Sundays. Okay. The baby got two bottles in the morning. The baby didn't get to bottles in the morning. Every night I said, I love you to my sons. Every night I didn't. Oh my gosh, I didn't. Um, so you're no so noticing this, you guys, that I'm always using I is always capital, even if it's in the middle of the sentence. And we always, I noticed that many um, people do this because not all languages require um, a capital at the beginning. So make sure you're using capitals at the beginning of your sentences and always using punctuation. So comma, period, all of those, okay? It's really important in English. Okay, every night I didn't say I love you to my sons. Um, the company wanted to develop a new marketing plan. The company didn't want to develop a new marketing plan. Um, could you see the difference? You're going to say, couldn't you see the difference? Now, what we've discussed before is that this this sentence and this sentence are essentially the same meaning. So you're asking basically the same question, even though this is negative. Could you see the difference? Couldn't you see the difference? There's a bit of a difference in the tone, or but the meaning is essentially the same. Okay, it's a little bit more like, this one is like, couldn't you see the difference? Like, like you're kind of confused. Like, I saw it. Why didn't you? That's kind of the difference there. But the meaning of those sentences is the same essentially just a little bit different tone okay what did it mean what did it mean mm. i mean this is an okay sentence and i kind of just rather leave it because it doesn't really make sense you don't really want to make what didn't it mean it doesn't really it's like kind of like this one where it doesn't really change the meaning so you really would say what did it mean yeah um I mean, if we wanted to create another sentence here, we could just go like, um, what did it mean? Uh, hola means hello in Spanish. Okay, let's say that. So also, um, languages are capitalized in English. Okay, so there's our second sentence where we're using this word means. And now let's do this. So let's make this one negative. Hola doesn't mean hello in Spanish, even though this is incorrect. We're going to just use that. Okay, so doesn't mean is the sentence. Okay, that's a little bit more. It's a little easier to do that. Hola. So, and then sometimes we can use these um, uh, exclamate or uh, Quotation marks. Oh my gosh, I couldn't think of the word. Just to kind of separate the word from the other part of the sentence so that we doesn't, you know, get confusing. The landlord let us rent his home. The landlord didn't let us rent his home. In the morning, I made my bed. In the morning, I didn't make my bed. Friday came at the end of the week. Friday didn't um, at the end of the week. The plane took off at 12.15 yesterday. The plane didn't take off at 
Okay, my friend, my friend didn't look ill. He thanked the doctor every time he left the office. He didn't thank the doctor when he left the office. So you can see I changed the sentence a little bit because if I say he didn't thank the doctor every time he left the office, I mean, you can, but it, it just kind of feels a little more natural if I say he didn't thank the doctor when he left the office. Okay, everyone told me that I looked like her. Everyone didn't tell me that I looked like her. You could say that, or you could say no one told me I looked like her. So that's one option. Let's go and just do the regular transit. Everyone told me I didn't look like her. No, that's fine. Let's leave it like that. Um, let's see, the assistant put the financial information into the document, the, sorry, that was really fast, um, didn't put the financial information into the document, uh, Marco didn't like to play with the, okay. My cousin talked on the phone nonstop. My cousin didn't talk on the phone nonstop. Okay, my father-in-law needed a new car. My father-in-law didn't need a new car. Some people believed the story. Some people didn't believe the story. Okay, almost there. He gave, uh, they gave a trophy to the winner. They didn't give a trophy to the, okay. I tried every day to improve my health. I, tr I didn't try every day to improve my health. My dad called me every other week. My dad didn't call me every other week. Okay, what does that mean every other week? It means one week, yes, next week, no. One week, yes, next week, no. Um, and when we're talking about mom and dad, we're talking about them, we can just use lowercase. But if I say in a sentence, dad, you need to go to the doctor, then I would, like, like dad is his name, then I would use the capital D, okay? Um, the dogs always found their bones. The dogs didn't always. Always find their only bones, okay? She felt nauseous. She didn't feel na not capital nauseous. It's a weird one to spell. Okay, nauseous. I think that's how you spell it. I think so. Okay, it happens. It happened every time. It didn't happen every time. The that customer asked for more salt. Let's see. That customer always asks for more salt. Uh, that. Customer, that customer didn't always ask for more salt. Okay, great. So what I would like for you guys to do is to take, so basically you're going to convert past tense to past progressive. Okay, so you're going to enter that in here and then we will review that. Let's do a couple of these together and then you're going to work on your own. Um, so some of these are not going to work. And if they don't work, I want you to just put a little line in there, okay? Or just say like not applicable, okay? I was five feet tall. We're not going to say I was being five feet tall. That doesn't make sense. Um, she had two dogs. Nope, because to have is a non-action verb as well. 
Um, let's see. So the sentence is every day he did yard work. We're going to say he was doing yard work. So we take out every day because every day is used in the present tense or it can be used in the past. Okay. So was doing is what we're changing that to. Um, okay. And let's see. So we could actually, let's see. So I knew that man from work. We're not going to put this in the past progressive because it's the verb to know. And we don't use, um, it's an, it's a non action verb. So we're not going to use ing. We thought same thing with this one. He went, he was going to church on Sundays. This one is an action verb. So you can use that. We'll do a couple more together. And then I would like for you guys to do the rest. Every night I said, I love you to my sons. Uh, oh, excuse me. I, I skipped on the baby got two bottles in the morning. Let's see. So some of this, the baby was getting two bottles in the morning. So maybe for two weeks, the baby had two bottles in the morning and now no more. Okay. Every night I didn't say, I love you to my sons. I put that there. Um, I was saying, I love you to my sons. And then you can, you could even add when da, 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 something happened. Okay. Um, I'll just leave it like that. The company wanted to develop a new marketing plan. Um, let's do this because want is one of those non-action verbs. So we're going to just, you could say the company was wanting to, but it doesn't mean anything different from this. The company wanted to develop a new marketing plan. Okay. So, um, could you see the difference? Couldn't you see the difference? Nope. With can, we don't use um, past tense. Uh, excuse me. We don't use progressive tenses with can. Um, mean is the same thing. We don't use it. Um, this should work. The landlord lets us rent his home. The landlord was letting us rent his home. Okay. In the morning, I made my bed. In the morning... I was making my bed and then something happened, okay? That's why I'm gonna just leave those dots there. Okay, uh, one more. Friday didn't come at the end of the week, so it's coming in. Mm. Friday. No. We're not going to say that because it's a weird sentence. Um, if we used a different sentence. Uh, how could we change that? Um, she comes at the end of the week. Friday doesn't come at the end of the week. Let's say let's let's say she was coming. We'll just use coming in, in a different kind of sentence here so that it actually makes sense. Um, to look, we're not really going to do that. She looked ill. You could say she was looking ill, but it doesn't really change the meaning. So you guys, I want you to do this, the rest of this. Remember to put the line there. If there is not a good way to make a past tense there. Um, so here you could say they were giving trophies to the winners. Okay. Um, and then I would like you guys to finish the rest of those there. Okay, so pause this and try to fill in from 15 all the way down to 30. And um, great. And then the then in our class on Thursday, I would like to wrap up. We'll do this unit to review together. I would like, um, actually, I would like to share it with you right now. So take a screenshot of this, please. Okay, while I do this. Okay, so here's the unit to review. This is the last piece to kind of moving into the next unit. So there's the first section. You're going to circle the correct words to complete the sentences. So you're choosing between simple past and past progressive, one through seven. Um, the next part, we're going to complete the conversation with a simple past or progressive form. So you're choosing. They're giving you 
the sentence here, but you have some options and some ways that it will help you. So what, what, what were you doing when you first met Ed? Okay. And then this final part here, you're going to read and circle and find and correct six, six mistakes. Okay. Um, so work on those pieces and you can just write them down. You just write it on a piece of paper or whatever. And then we will go over them in our class on Thursday. All right. Okay. So let me stop this and get over here. All right, you guys, thank you so much. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you again at 11 a.m. on Thursday. Bye.